yogis who go into your room, locked from outside, and when they open, nothing is there. One life, which is does not belong to that family, made use of this energy to dematerialize and disappear. Anyone who has attained to Bhuta Siddhi can dematerialize his own body. We could also teach you to disintegrate it. Today, uh, being the Shivaratri, the darkest night of the twenty-eight day lunar cycle. This is also a significant day in terms of uh, what happens in the different stratas of the planet. It is not just the darkness of the night, Generally, in the tradition, it is said that uh, the planet Mother Earth broods on this day. On this night, she doesn't sleep, she broods. Or in other words, the intensity of the activity of the fire elements in the planet are, uh, in a way, kind of much more intense. It is the elements, the fire elements, need to be constantly integrated the very forces of life, the dynamics of the movement of the planet and the other forces of life are constantly trying to dismantle the integrity of the five elements as a combination of creation. It is on this night that Mother Earth tries to integrate herself get these fire elements into a more integral activity or it is kind of brought together in much more forceful way than other nights or other days. So these twenty-four hours starting from this evening till or little more than twenty-four hours. Usually the Mamasya lasts for thirty to thirty-two hours in this period. The intensity of the elemental activity or the way they integrate themselves is much more. It has been noticed that if you germinate a seed in a certain controlled conditions on different days of the lunar month. On this day, the germination slows down for these twenty-four hours. The way the plant grows slows down because the elements are busy maintaining themselves. They do not contribute much to the growth of the plant because the soil, the whole planet, is trying to integrate itself on this day. This is a fantastic natural process that is happening on the planet and this is also a fantastic opportunity for one who is aware to use this as a way to integrate his own system, to integrate the five elements in his own body. How these five elements behave within you, will determine just about everything. Shiva, 
who is referred to as Bhuteshwara, attained what is called as Bhuta Siddhi, that is complete mastery over the five elements. Anyone who has attained to Bhuta Siddhi can dematerialize his own body. You have heard of yogis who go into a room locked from outside and when they open, nothing is there, not, not a trace of that person. That is, he is not dead, you don't find his body, you don't find his ashes, you don't find anything, he's simply gone because he dematerializes his own physical system. So one who has mastery over the five elements, one who has what we are referring to as Bhuta Siddhi, can not only integrate, can also disintegrate his own system. It recently happened, I don't want to name the place because then all of you will start making a tour to that place. <laughs> it so happened that uh, recently someone who had a Linga Bhairavi Yantra in their home found this was kept in a place where there's no room for any kind of water to come, but they found lots of water upon the yantra and around the yantra. It is just that one life, which is, does not belong to that family, made use of this energy to dematerialize, completely dematerialize and disappear. All that you have is a little pool of water. You can even dematerialize that water so that even water is not left. Somebody did the job little inefficiently. So the body is gone, everything is gone, just a little pool of water left. If you are fifty kgs of weight or if you are… let's talk about reality. If you are one hundred kgs of weight… No, no, it's easy to… Anywhere between seventy to seventy-two kgs is just water. So he did not leave seventy kgs of water or seventy liters of water. Either he was a small person or part of the water was demetrialized, part was left. So they had so much water, they couldn't believe where this water came from and uh, a miracle has happened and all that. I said, shut up and can clean up the place. So, uh, nobody is taking note of the fantastic miracle that's happening every day in making of the body. The air that you breathe is becoming body, isn't it, in many ways. The water that you drink is becoming body. Nobody takes note of such a miracle, but somebody disintegrates, that's a miracle. They did not even think so. A pool of water around Bhairavi Yantra, that's a miracle for them. I said, take note of the real miracle that's happening every day. If you miss this miracle, you will never get to know what that miracle is. So, Panchabuddha Radhana, for those of you who either go in or you stay out, it doesn't matter. It is creating a powerful possibility in the space for the whole month, not just for that day, where you can integrate your system, you can allow the five elements in your body to bind much better. Isn't it doing well right now? From one body to another, there's a very big difference as to how these five elements are integrated. How well integrated determines a lot of things about that person, almost everything I would say. And if this body 
has to become a foundation, a stepping stone for a bigger possibility, not a hurdle. If that has to happen, it's very important the system is properly integrated. The Buddha Shuddhi, which is the basic form of yogic practice, which all of you in many forms are practicing in different levels of intensity and involvement, but all of you, whatever yoga you are doing, in some way you are doing some form of Buddha Shuddhi. If this is done properly, the elements are sufficiently purified, then the binding becomes better. Being in the Dhyanalinga temple does a phenomenal job of integrating the system. Not just in the surface level, health does not mean uh, my pulse rate is okay, my blood pressure is okay, my sugar levels are okay. Yes, they are only a consequence. The real thing is, if the five elements are well integrated and they are functioning in perfect cohesion within themselves, within the system, then there is just no need for anybody to worry about their medical… what medical diagnosis is saying because if the elements are functioning well and strongly integrated, it just happens by itself. If you learn to integrate it consciously, we could also someday when it's needed, teach you to disintegrate it so that you will save us the burial or cremation. <laughs> you will save some labor, it's good, you know. So, we would like to pitch up the Panchabhuta Radhana to a different level of experience, just becoming reverential towards all the elements, the earth that you walk upon, the air that you breathe, the water that you drink, the food that you eat, and the space in which you are living. To become reverential towards that, to walk gently, look upon the fire elements as the basis of who you are right now, to bring that awareness into the system. So please bring that reverence into you about all the elements that you're in touch with. This moment what you're in touch with, don't wor worry about, oh, Ganga Mata, no. People do Ganga Mata when they're on the banks of Ganga, not here. Here, the very water that you drink from your cup, the air that you breathe, the earth that you walk upon, the food that you eat, the water that you drink, just being reverential towards that and keeping the fire up, you should be suitable.